Yes, guys, welcome back to the Full On Football channel. It is time for yet another match day vlog. The end of the season is fast approaching, but that does not mean the quality of games will dwindle. We have an absolute cracker today. It is Luton Town at home to Brentford in the run-in at the end of the Premier League season. So without any further ado, let's get into the previews. Let's take a look at the tables before the ball is kicked today. So here we are then, 20th to 13th, then the battle for safety in the Premier League. To be honest with you, 15th and above where Brentford is, uh, is safe in my opinion. I think it's only really Everton, Nottingham Forest and Luton who are up for like staying up or still going down. I also think Sheffield United and Burnley are uh, pretty much out of it as well. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see though because literally all of the bottom six today, I believe, are playing each other. Um, Everton and Nottingham Forest are playing tomorrow. Luton and Brentford are, well, they're playing today. And uh, Burnley and Sheffield United are also playing today. So yeah, the whole of the bottom six are all playing each other. So it'll be really interesting to see who gets three points out of that. So obviously Luton, 25 then. If they win today and Nottingham Forest and Brentford draw, then they, I believe, will still be staying up. Um, they will be in 17th and Nottingham Forest will drop into the bottom three. So it's all to play for today. Uh, the Hatters need three points. But I'm sure three points they will secure safety for Brentford if it isn't already secured already. So then let's take a look at our first team preview. Let's take a look at the visitors, Brentford. They have been doing all right in their last five games. Three draws, one win, picking up six points from a possible 15. Not too bad. And like I said, they pretty much secured themselves uh, safety for next season with that win against Sheffield United last week. So they're look looking pretty good um, and they've had a pretty decent last five games. Moving on to the manager then, Thomas Frank, he's been manager, managing Brentford for a good few years now. He's managed 268 games, got himself 114 wins, 62 losses and 92 draws. So it'll be interesting to see which of those will be going up by one today. And moving on to the one to watch then, I've chosen Brian and Bueno as today's uh, one to watch for Brentford. Cameroon International, he's played 20 matches for Brentford this season. He's got an average rating of 7.23, which is pretty decent by all accounts. I believe he has been injured this season. I'm not 100% sure on that though. And he scored eight goals and got three assists for the Bees. And I forgot to mention, actually, Thomas Frank said after the Sheffield United win last week that I believe he has a pretty much full squad to pick from today. I believe Brentford have been pretty much riddled with injuries throughout the whole of the season. So I think he said uh, last week that today uh, he's got a pretty much full squad to choose from. So it'll be interesting to see what he chooses to be his starting lineup today. And moving on to the host end, Luton Town needing all three points today. And you can see it's been a pretty tepid last five games. But, I mean, look at the opponents. They've had Man City away, Tottenham away, Arsenal away. Never really expected to get any points from them three. And then they got a point at not home to Nottingham Forest, which was the last Luton uh, vlog that I did. And they got that huge 2-1 win at home to Bournemouth. So not an ideal last five games for the Hatters, but at the end of the day, like I said, the opponents they've been playing against have been pretty, pretty challenging. So never expected to get... 15 points out of 15. Moving on to the Luton Town manager, then it is none other than Rob Edwards. 71 games managed for the Hatters uh, last season and this season. 26 of those have been wins, 27 have been losses, and uh, 18 of those have been draws. We obviously already know what an excellent job Rob has done at Luton, getting them up last season, and he is so close to getting them safe this season in the Premier League as well, where no one thought they would. A few more wins, um, and he probably will be getting them there. And now on to Luton Town's one to watch for today. It is Ross Barkley. Who else would it have been? Ross has done absolutely excellent for the Hatters this season. He was partially injured at the start of the season, missed a few weeks uh, of games. But since coming back, he has been Luton Town's rock in midfield. He has done absolutely incredibly since moving at the start of the season. He's played 28 games for the Hatters, got an average rating of 7.47, which is incredible. Scored five and assisted four. So he has been an absolutely key player for Luton this season. I'm sure the Luton fans will be praying that his good performances will keep on going for these remaining five games of the season and will hopefully keep them up in the Premier League for yet another year. Now then, on to the head-to-head -head between these two sides. So we've got the most six recent fixtures and results between these two. But these games, as you can tell, are top 36 wins for Luton, 15 draws and 29 uh, wins for Brentford. These fixtures date all the way back to 1920. 79 meetings between the two. 1920 was the first fixture, so they have met each other a hell of a lot of times in the last century. Luton managed to get the better of Brentford on the 25th of February 2020, the 2-1 win at Kenworth Road. But ever since then, uh, it has been Brentford winning 3-0, 1-0. And most recently this season, the 2nd of December 2023, 3-1 at the Brentford Community Stadium. So, ladies and gents, that is the previews done for today's huge clash match at Kenilworth Road between Luton Town and Brentford. Let's get into Luton. Let's get to Kenilworth Road. And let's see what happens today. Let's see who will be taking the three points. 
Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, back at Kenilworth Road, home of Luton Town for today's big game, as I said, against Brentford. And like I said in the previews, three points is a must for both sides today. Luton desperately need them, probably more than Brentford do, because like I said, Brentford seems safe already, but three points will surely secure safety today. If Luton can get these three points, it will be on the road for safety for yet another year in the Premier League. Got a post in front of this left hand side goal, so getting footage of this net probably will be quite difficult. That's all good, that's why we love Kenilworth Road. Old style ground, posts everywhere you look. It's character, it's character. Kick off's about half an hour away. players get clapped off the pitch. Let's go to the noise inside Kenilworth Road. It is Luton Town versus Brentford today in Bedford Shear. Three points today is incredible. Performances against teams that fall me just short of the mark. But we're into that stage of the season now where slip ups aren't good enough and points need to start tallying up. And this is a perfect chance to do just that today. The Brentford side who don't really have much else to play for now, their survival is pretty much guaranteed. But a three point game today would surely guarantee that's bad why they are going to be wanting to go for it themselves. The Luton Town. They've got Osho back. Lapongo, I believe, is on the bench. So things are looking up in terms of the injury list, but he's still waiting for Elijah Adebayo, the goal scorer, to come back. Hopefully it won't be too long for him. But Luton will have to deal with what they've got. A strengthened score from last week. Can they beat Brentford today and maintain a huge three points ahead of Nottingham Forest to be ever in some way? Kick-off is coming up here at Kenilworth Road. What a save, Thomas Kaminsky. That is how easy it is for Brentford to counter attack. Excellent counter attack in play. Brilliant save for Kaminsky. Again, that could have gone anywhere. Really lucky, really lucky Luton not 1-0 down. <laughs> Couldn't catch it. Oh, that was easy just behind someone's head. Absolute screamer though from what looked like Vissa once again like many many times this season at Kenilworth Road Luton and Town trail with a must win game but Luton have come back from so many games from behind but it has been far from a satisfactory performance from Luton so far not good enough too passive far far too passive we have Brentford too much time on the ball Bueno goes in slots it to Vissa Top right corner, 1 0 Brentford. What a chance! What a chance! Got to take them. to release it to Fred on the on the wing. Chose to keep it, lost it, and that's what happens. Brentford comes straight up the other end of the wing and almost score.
double for Brentford, and that is game over for me. Luton have been beyond poor in this first half. Needing three points, and they haven't shown up whatsoever. Really, really disappointing for all these Luton Town fans here. Really disappointing. Haven't offered anything going forward. Brentford, as they soon are staying up. But Luton look to be right in it. And they look to be heading only one direction. And that is back down to where they came from in the Championship. 2-0, 45th minute. And that is that. That is it. Half time here. Luton Town nil. Brentford two, and like I said, when Brentford scored, absolutely awful for Luton today. So far, they've been beyond pole. They haven't offered anything going forward. Brentford themselves haven't really offered much going forward, but they've taken the chance they, chances that they've had. Luton have had a few times where they've been breaking forward and just can't seem to get through that final third. As it stands, Luton Town look like they are down and out. But... There is still a 45, still 45 minutes left to play. These fans are still up for it. And if there's anything we have learned from Luton this season, is that they can do it coming from two goals down. So we'll only have to see what happens in the second half. But it's, as it stands, Brentford are heading for safety. Luton heading for the championship. Luton nil, Brentford two. Weren't already done, it certainly is now. Ethan Pinnock, free header once again in the box for Brent for Brentford in the corner. Simple as you like for these this afternoon at Kenilworth Road. 61 minutes gone. Luton haven't just been beaten, they've been beaten well. 3-0. said after the third goal simple as you like like carving butter with a hot knife today for Brentford here at Kenilworth Road Luton have been ineffective so ineffective in defence midfield and attack nothing short of awful and pathetic is the words I'd use from Luton today awful Such a shame, it really is a shame because these Luton fans have been singing all game as best as they can to try and get this team going. And they, the team just haven't delivered today at all. But they still love Luton, they will always love Luton. But at the moment, with this game, with this result, Luton do look like they are down. There is still time, there are still four games to go. But that does look like curtains. Start to injury, that's number five. Yeah, good build up play, good finish. Nothing short of excellent from the B today. Played really, really, really well. The score certainly shows that. Something to cheer about at least. 
Ferry, Brent Briggs' clean sheet is wiped off. Luke Ferry gets the consolation over the hatches. 5-1. So that is it then, full time, Luton 1, Brentford 5. Um, I don't really know what to say to be honest, it was just awful from start to finish from a Luton perspective. From minute 1 to minute 90 they didn't show the aggression and sort of passion that Luton have showed all through the season when they've gone and grabbed three points against teams in the mid and the bottom of the table. It just didn't show up at all, did they? No, it was awful. We are running out of time now. It's, I think they could be done. And that's what I said at the start of the game. I said that Luton have done so well throughout the whole season of playing well against teams and just falling short in the last couple of minutes. And it's all right because there's time left in the season to say, OK, well, they played well and then they can go again. But it's that point of the season now where three games left, three home games left against Brentford, well, before kick-off against Brentford, Everton and Fulham. And they're games that if Luton want to stay up, they have to win. And uh, if I was completely honest, I didn't really think Luton were going to do it, but I didn't think they were going to lose as badly as they did today. It was awful. But that take no credit away from Brentford. They were excellent, you know, complete other end of the spectrum. Getting up, they looked like they wanted it, and they knew that that three points would have sealed their safety. I don't know if it's mathematically sealed, but let's be real, it, it is sealed. They, I don't think uh, any of the bottom three are going to muster up enough points to take over Brentford, uh, let alone Nottingham Forest or Everton. So... Um, yeah, fair play to Brentford. They're going to be playing another year in the Premier League, pretty much confirmed. And uh, yeah, they look really, really, really good. So I'm sure if they can get some of the injured players that they had back, I don't know who was injured today for Brentford. It seemed like they had a pretty strong squad. The only person who I saw missing was Tony. But um, it's no Tony, no problem, really, for, for Brentford. Vissar, uh, Pinnock, and uh, I can't remember the other bloke's name, uh, but someone who made it 5 1 uh, sealed all three points. So it's something to think about for Luton. They need to go again, brush themselves down for Wolves away and they've still got two huge games at Kenilworth Road and you never know. If there's something that we have learned from Luton in these last couple of years that they've been flying up the leagues, it is, it's not over until it is over. I wouldn't be surprised if Luton do somehow manage to pull something out of the bag and uh, stay in the Premier League. But only time will tell on that note and uh, we'll have to see what happens. Now, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you haven't already, please like, please subscribe. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers, so if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. And your support, your support, sorry, is hugely appreciated as always. And I will see you next week when we go to Barnet to see them take off someone because it's still not decided yet. They've got to play the uh, quarterfinals. They will be taking on someone uh, at the Hive to for a spot at Wembley in the Vanarama National League Power Final. So until then, I will see you guys next time.